Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And today is behind the scenes, day five. And I want to conclude with the most intriguing, fascinating behind the scene story that keeps on unfolding. And it's just amazing. If you keep on searching the scriptures, it keeps on building up. It all started from the book of Genesis, from the beginning, after man, Adam and Eve fell into sin. When the serpent was cast in Genesis 3 verse 14, the Bible says, And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because you have done this, thou art cast above all cattle, above every beast of the field, and upon thy berry shalt thou go, and dust shall you eat all the days of your life. And I will put an enmity between you and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So uh, as as we continue to interpret scripture, we find the fulfillment of this scripture all the way as we get to the story of Jesus Christ. And there is so many behind the scenes scenario as you go through the prophets, as you go through the, 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 the life of the kings, you find the behind the scene story all leading up to Jesus Christ. And remember where we started. We started with a behind the scenes scenario where Zechariah, who was a priest, was having an encounter behind the curtains and he had an encounter with the angels. And guess what? He was told about a son who would be born unto him. And this son was, was his work is to prepare the way for the Messiah. And you know the story of how John the Baptist was born and all that. And now let's talk about how Jesus was performing during his ministry and how the priests and how the Pharisees and the Jews were really against him and how the evil spirit and, and, and got into them and how they conspired to destroy him and to kill him. Little did they know that by doing whatever they were doing, they were fulfilling they were fulfilling what God had purposed from the beginning. Can you imagine that? The Bible says, and this is very interesting in the book of Colossians 2, 13 to 15, the Bible says, when you are dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. So can you imagine that this was the plan of God? This was the ultimate purpose of God. When they said, we don't want Jesus, crucify him, crucify him. When they thought that they are destroying him, when they nailed him on that cross, when they spit on him, when they cast lot and, and cast lot on of, for his clothes, when they, they pierced him with a spear, when they put a crown of thorns on his head and every shame and disgrace that Jesus went through, when they did all that, they thought they were doing that to destroy him. But guess what? Behind the scene, that is what was the ultimate purpose of God. He, Jesus was supposed to go through that. Why? Because we were supposed to be forgiven. The Bible says, cast be the man who will be hanged on a tree. And Jesus was to take away our curse. He was to take away our shame. He was to take away our sin. So what was the meaning of the cross? When the meaning of the cross to the people who were crucifying Jesus that time was a meaning of hate. To the Lord behind the scene, the cross meant love. Christ Jesus died for sinners. He died for the people who had lost their way. He did not die because it was forced upon him. It was a choice, a choice made in love. The Bible says God showed us his great love 
for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were yet sinners. They thought they are doing it because they hate him. They want to just stop his fame, stop him being popular. But behind the scene, God was showing us his great love. Jesus still loves us today. He came and gave his life for us. And the message of the cross still remains. It is a gift of love to us, even if we are undeserving. And above all, the message of the cross is a symbol of love. They did it through hate, but behind the scene, the Lord was showing the message of love. And number two, they did it as a crowd. You know, as when you are in a crowd, there's that peer pressure. It is easy to commit sin together because you're encouraging each other. Throw the stone, do this together. No, so and so is doing it. Why not do it? But the message of the cross is so personal. And that is why uh, Paul is say, saying, I want to know Christ and I want to suffer with him sharing in his death. And that's why anytime any of us encounters and learns about what Jesus had to go through, you feel connected at a personal level. So the, the whatever they planned for evil behind the scenes, it draws us closer to a personal relationship to God. And the message of the cross is really full humility. Jesus Christ's death was an act of will. He had the authority to call the angels. He could have summoned the angels. If the time that Peter who, who, who cut the, the one of the soldiers' ear, Jesus was able to put back that ear. What was he not able to do? He was able to summon angels and they could not have done him anything. He had all the power. But in Philippians 2, 7, Paul states that Jesus humbled himself in obedience and died a criminal death on the cross. And sometimes we may mistakenly think that he made that decision as God. Jesus came to the conclusion to die for humanity as a human. He willed his flesh and mind and emotions to die on the cross. He did it willingly. And by that will, that is the will of Jesus as a human being, not the will of God. He has been made holy through the sacrifice of the Jesus Christ once and for all. So they plan whatever the enemy was planning. He, they didn't know that behind the scene, the Lord had been planning this for years, for many generations to reconcile us back to God, to purchase us back to God by the precious blood. So Jesus hung on the cross on purpose. He could choose to live as he pleased, but he chose to give his life for our sake. Galatians 2.20 says that we have been crucified with Christ. We have been crucified. That is past tense. As Christians, we are to be dead to our will. We have been crucified. So it is a done deal. It is a done deal. We have been crucified with Christ. And then one thing that I, I, I understand about this behind the scenes scenario, it was prophetic. They thought whatever they are doing was something they have come up with, but it was it had been prophesied. There were many prophecies of the cross from Genesis to Revelation. From the beginning of time, the Lord God had been planning to rescue us, humanity, from the clutches of evil through that specific way of death, through that cross. Yet in our weaknesses, he carried he, he had carried, uh, the Bible says in Isaiah, this is one of the most descriptive way so that you know that when the Jews and the Pharisees and the high priests were doing this, it was not their own imagination. They thought that they had devised a scheme to take away and to erase the name of Jesus and his fame. But behind the scene, all this was orchestrated with, by God for his ultimate purpose. It says, yet was yet it was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole he was whipped so we could be healed 
he was transfigured, tormented, completely abused. But not only was his punishment prophesied, so was our atonement. Pierced for sins, beaten for wholeness, whipped for healing. It was a divine exchange. Blessings for curses, completeness for brokenness, and righteousness for holiness. The redemption was prophesied. This is the most powerful behind the scenes scenario. They thought they were doing it, but the Lord was behind the scene and was accomplishing the, 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 whole, the whole purpose, the ultimate purpose that he had. And one thing I love about this was that the cross was final. The cross was final. The cross was final. The cross was final. Remember, we started about that curtain. The Bible says, and I know you know this, that when Jesus was on that cross, the curtain of the temple was torn apart into two. And we got the access to the Father. You know, Revelation 5, 9 to 10 says, Redeem a lamp of God. He is worthy. He was found worthy to break the seals. Because he purchased us for God from all nations, from all tongues. We were reconciled back to God. He made the public spectacles of all powers, of all principalities. Oh, they thought, they thought they were doing it according to their plans. But behind the scenes, the Lord was in control. He had us in mind. He had our freedom in mind. And that is the greatest, the greatest, the greatest behind the scene plot I have seen, I have, I have ever read about. I'm excited, I'm intrigued about. Let it not be in vain that the Lord plotted and planned to save, to deliver. Let the cross not be in vain for your life. If you've never accepted the price that was paid on the cross and you've been listening to this podcast, I invite you. To take a moment and surrender and yield your life to Jesus for his glory. Because the price is already paid. The price is already paid. Just give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. The price is already paid. There was a divine exchange that took place. Blessings for curses. Completeness for brokenness. And righteousness for holiness. The redemption was prophesied. And it was completed at the cross. It was completed at the cross. Shalom. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And this is Behind the Scenes, Day 5. And as usual, today is Friday. And the final day, I always tell you, if you'd like to support this podcast, you can click the support button and just support with the token that you'd love. Uh, we have uh, $1 uh link you have the five dollar or ten dollars a month and god is going to bless you shalom shalom we celebrate uh this week we've hit 20 seasons and that is we have over a hundred episodes since we started this podcast thank you so much for your encouragement for your feedback uh for those messages voice messages that you leave uh i am so encouraged may god bless you let's meet next week on monday uh we meet every day monday through friday for five to ten minutes for daily insights shalom shalom shalom